So I just had breakfast and um, I totally realized that I didn't exactly tell you how to make this breakfast. It's a very simple breakfast. It's keto friendly. Um, and a, I make it with a, what I call baby marrows. Uh, is another name for it a zucchini. I use the light zucchini. I grate them um, finely. <coughs> I fry them in a pan with some coconut oil until they're nice and juicy and cooked, like sautéing it. Until I see that they're more or less cooked, and then I add two eggs. I use two big eggs and then I just scramble it in, let it cook some more until it becomes like really fluffy and tight. And uh, that's it. And uh, what, what makes this dish... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have this cough. I have to go and check out what this cough is all about today. Um, what makes this dish really good actually is um, sprinkling some nutritional yeast on it. It's almost like the Parmesan. It's got like a Parmesan cheesy flavor. And so you sprinkle that over. Uh, it has a lot of vitamin Bs in it, especially vitamin B1, which helps for your nervous system. It helps you to stay calm through the day um, and so that's it I wasn't able to finish all of the breakfast which I usually do actually maybe it's because I'm working out less and I don't have such a huge appetite but anyway it was a good breakfast to have before my chemotherapy um, still sipping on my coffee I'm gonna take some vitamins and some vitamin D and omega-3s Hit the shower, get dressed, and go for my blood test. First we do a blood test before we do the chemo to see that I'm healthy and I'm strong and that my body can take those chemicals. Okay then. Okay. In the bowling. So, I'm just going to show you. Yeah. Rest health center. That's the place in the building. Okay, so this is the breast health center. This is where my surgeon is. Anyway, I just had um, some blood drawn. They took blood also to see if I can have a port put in. A port is some kind of a device that they actually um, insert on the chest area under the skin. And um, it will go up one of the veins and so that they do not have to poke me every time. They have difficulty with my veins for some reason. Um, I tried twice in my palm area, as you can see, and right there, and they didn't succeed. And then finally, someone came along and said, I have the guts to give it a go, and he actually succeeded. So now we're just waiting for that result. And so I think I'm considering having a port inserted because it's not nice to be poked every time trying to search for veins and eventually my veins will crash from the chemotherapy. Hello. Okay, so I'm at the emergency room because I'm not feeling good. I'm getting some uh, medicine for, for nausea and pain. 
Kevin Weston. Some steroids to help you feel a little bit better. The nurse just told me that um, the doctor will not be able to decide today if the amount of the chemo is maybe too strong for me or if they will have to change it will not be decided today I have to see my oncologist for them to decide but I will see a doctor today um, but for now the only thing they can do for me really is just um, treat me for my symptoms to help me feel a little bit better so I'm speaking softly because there are lots of people sharing this section I'm not alone anyway I really hope that this will help me because it is the pits. It is honestly the pits to feel this bad. I have no words. Anyway, this is my update for now. I'll speak to you later. Um, today is day eight after my second chemo therapy. I'm feeling much better today. Yesterday I was admitted to the emergency clinic for chemo therapy patients in the hospital and um, I received some steroids and fluids and anti-nausea um, medicines. And I've actually changed my anti-nausea medicines to something that's uh, called Zofren. It's, it's much better for me instead of uh, Paramine. That's what I used to get and that, it doesn't help. Uh, it comes in a tablet form and sometimes they put it to intravenously they give it intravenously and so these little pink tablets did not do it for me I just felt very very bad um, and no one has to suffer um, that torture and so I went and I'm happy I did <clears throat> feeling much better have more strength um, to do stuff around the house and uh, to get organized um, I'm getting dressed to go and um, go to this uh, a place it's called um, Center of Hope here in Israel it's close to the hospital where I get my treatments they're very much into alternative treatments for cancer patients my main interest is to go and see what they have to offer as far as the vitamin C drip infusions are concerned. I want to know how much it costs. And it's something that can really, really help make chemotherapy much better. Right now, my immune system is a little bit low, I was told. And <clears throat> also, my potassium is a little bit high. Um, nothing to con be concerned about too majorly. I just need to uh, be careful not to be around uh, any <clears throat> anyone that's sick. It's going to be tricky because I need to go out today and I have a, an appointment with the uro urologist. Urologist? <laughs> you know what I really say, right? If I have the energy, I will... Um, do more stuff and working on my youtube channel it's new for me i'm learning little bit by little i have lots to offer and much encouragement and i want to be an inspiration to everyone out there i want to give back i've been inspired by lots of 
YouTubers, um, many for many aspects of life and and backgrounds. Hi. So I'm on the bus and I'm on my way to this same new hope center. I'm gonna get off the bus and then I have two more buses to go and then check out some vitamins. chair um, just having lunch went to Roma and just got a, a roast beef sandwich with an iced coffee I'm starving this is the social workers office number 24 and I'm waiting for her to open the door so I can have a meeting with her um, Happy lunch, you all. Okay, this is Tel Aviv. And this is where my neurologist appointment is. And I came here an hour before the time. It is 3 o'clock. My appointment is at 4, and I thought it was 4 o'clock for some reason. So I have time to kill. I'm on my way to a different hospital today to have my genetic testing for the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene test. This will help giving the oncologist um, a, a better more information concerning my cancer and more information concerning future treatments for the breast cancer. And after that, I will go and visit an old friend, which is going to be nice. And that's it for now. I'm running late, so I'm going to go catch the bus. low energy is low nausea is back definitely feeling weaker but it's still manageable um, so yes I'm off to go and have my genetic test the BRCA1 BRCA2 for breast cancer This is the entrance of the hospital. give you a huge appetite let me tell you oh boy steroids you're constantly hungry you need them steroids because they give you strength and they help with releasing some of the nausea symptoms but they are sneaky they make you want to eat all the time and you have cravings just like a pregnant woman you crave certain things for me i want sour things or sweet things most of the time 
and red, which is my enemy. Now is my friend, because that's what I feel like eating most of the time. Pizza, pasta, and bread. So I made me a sandwich with smoked beef, pastrama, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, cheese. I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich. Two steps. Okay.